I mean, not for every stream, just for my stream. Uh, right now, it looks like I am hosting a teacup, teacup gamer, wonderful person. Everyone should watch her uh, instead of me. Hello and welcome to the stream. Twitch tells me I am now live and have stopped broadcasting a teacup gamer who is a wonderful person and is probably uh, better than this chat, so uh, better than this uh, broadcast, so you probably should go watch her. Um, yesterday, uh, I'm not even going to bother to do a uh, recap of what we're doing. I'll do a brief recap. Uh, we were looking at ellipses and we got, got pretty fancy with them. We got to this point here, uh, which actually, to be honest, is a little bit too far. Uh, our goal here is we have two goals. One is we, um, we want to form this into sort of a question for Mathematica that is similar to other questions I've asked, but this time we're going to use concrete information. Um, and the other goal is we do want to come up with a formula for the uh, area, uh, you know, uh, carved out, spun out, the area, uh, whatevered, by the uh, by the focal angle, the area covered by the focal angle as as the uh, planet spins, as the planet orbits in an elliptical fashion. Uh, again, that second one is probably not going to be useful to anybody because a I already have a formula for it actually, and b um, uh, is a flying insect. No, sorry, and b uh, because the the goal here is at some point to answer this question about uh, can we estimate the planets as with circular orbits. And the answer to that is yes. And it turns out, um, we're not obviously we're not going to need the uh, the area swept out, swept out by the, the by the uh, planet from the focus. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, there will be several things here. So let's go ahead and make some notes. And this is BC. So this is we're finally I think going to try to do the um, the question to um, question to mathematic, uh, not math stack, blah, 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 blah. I know what the rest of it is. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the questions I already asked that are very similar to this one so we can um, just do it, I guess. Um, and so I, I am logged in, so I should be able to look at my own questions. Uh, simpler form for a kid, that didn't really happen. Um, okay. Uh, my answers do a lot better than my questions. Um, uh, okay. Um, okay, so this is the sort of the question I asked earlier. Um, th there might be another question on top of this. I might have actually asked two questions. Although I think if I did ask another question, it will be mentioned here. Ooh, shiny. Um, okay. Um, here's a sample of what you're, okay, so this is, they're not happy about this. Um, so I think, I'm, I have to mention this because they're, they're going to say, it's already been answered before. <laughs> By the way, everybody on Mathematica talks like that, uh, the Stack Exchange. Now they, they are going to point out correctly that I had asked a similar question, and I do want to I do want to sort of own that and say yes I did uh, or acknowledge that, as we said before, uh, teenagers took over everything. Um, and and you know so so this is similar but it's a little bit worse because we're actually not even giving formulas we're giving uh, relations between thingamabobbies. So there's going to mention that to do mention blah. And there's a couple of other things we don't have in the diagram. Uh, the eccentricity of an ellipse, which is a fixed quantity that's not dependent on p. Um, and th the parameter t, which is um, a one way of, of uh, parameterizing the, 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 uh, the border of the eclipse that has no, uh, you know, the, the ellipse that has no physical meaning. Um, but it's still interesting because a lot of people use it. So there's that. Okay, so now let's actually get something done maybe. So let's see if I can duplicate. Um, there is a duplicate in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, wow, it's amazing how I say stuff and it's just not true. Um, I guess save. And we'll say today's date. 
and I do want it to be shared. Like that's I'm I'm fine with that. Okay. So now, can I duplicate this? Oh, what? What? Okay, yeah, your mama. What the hell? Oh, okay. And it wants to give me a nice little copy for myself, which is actually a good thing because I can upload that later. Um. Uh, make me new one copy of this. How do I do that? Save. There is no save as even. Um, and I don't want to mess with this one. Okay, we don't really need to save this again. Oh, I wonder if I could save it twice and then have a. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, cool. Um, new. And okay. Okay, awesome. I think. I don't really know what the hell I just did. But uh, hopefully... Well, actually, I think if we go over here and do this, it will tell me what I have saved already. No, it won't. No, it will not. It will not let me... I, though, I think if I go over here and do file open... Yay. And so this is the one we're, this is the one we're messing with. Um, so I guess we have another safe copy. But this is the one we're... No, this is the one we're messing with. It's the new one. It is the one that ends in... Gee, I wish I had my browser's uh, bottom bar there. Um, I can always make the browser smaller. I am aware of that. Uh, this is... Oh, wow. They won't tell me what this is. Um, it's something. And, but it is the thing I'm looking at here, I hope. I, I, that number did change. So I'm confident this is good. So let's go ahead and subtract off the crap we don't need from it while keeping the crap we do need from it. Um... G is a point the okay, is that the first thing we do is G? Really? Oh right, right, because we drew the from the foci. So yeah, so th this is fine. G is equal to this, F is equal to that, we're good with that. B is good, the ellipse is good, uh O is good, A is good. Now I'm pretty darn sure that uh point C is let's take a look at point C. No, oh, there it is. Um yeah, point C is our sort of arbitrary point uh, somewhere on the ellipse, and that's fine. Segment from OP, that's fine. I probably shouldn't keep highlighting these. Uh, and C is equal to the uh, yeah, that's fine. That's also just the x, the drop of uh, of P to the to the x-axis. Although I'm beginning to wonder, do we need that? And I'm I'm suspecting that we do not. Um, so P is good. We're, we're happy with P. Um, we're happy with that segment, but I think this segment um, we don't actually need. So let's see if we can get rid of that. Oh, uh, the duplicate, I guess, is if you want to duplicate uh, these items. You can't duplicate the whole sheet. Or there's no easy way to do that. Segment from O to P, still good on that. It's P to F. Um, we actually will need that because we want the angle uh, AFP. So we'll leave that. This region I'm sure we can get rid of because uh, everything we have defined as a region um, is n is not necessary right now. So we'll go ahead and delete this. Um, we could probably... Pff, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, delete this. Okay. Delete this. Okay. Delete this. And then delete this, which isn't even actually showing up, so I'm kind of annoyed by it. Okay, so now we're down to, I think, what we need... We will double check, of course. Okay. Um, do I care? It's sort of a general question. You know, do I do I care? Do I really care? Um, so I guess we're going to be looking for. Um, we're going to be taking a picture, of, you know, a snapshot of this, and using that, and say in the in the ellipse above, blah blah blah. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if we still we need... I think we do want that, but I think we might want to make it an angle because that's how we're going to be discussing it. And we also do need to talk about the... Oh, shit, we do need... We did need C. We did need C. Um, all right, so we can, get, we can get that back in just a sec here. 
Now, we do want to draw some angles here. Because um, we're going to do AFP is one angle, AOP is another angle. Um, and is this line going to be, you know what? Ugh. I'm going to delete it for now. Um, the one thing I do want to be able to say is the integral from, uh, you know, this value of x to, uh, to a. That, that we do want. We definitely want that. Um, so we definitely need a uh, point. Um, we'll put it over here for right now, but we're going we're gonna to tweak it. And we will need, we'll, we will, no, delete settings. Um, its definition is going to be uh, p, x of p, zero. Show object. Well, we'll give it a label. We'll call it c equals um, x comma zero. And so that we do want to draw in, but let's go ahead and make, clean this up a little bit. Moving. Um, I'll just move this over here, and we'll keep this over here. C equals x zero, so this is a flat line down. I could draw that as a line that segment between this guy and this guy. I do not. Okay, I don't want it labeled. Um, it can be called G if it wants to be. And then I want to sort of color in this area here, which I don't think is going to be difficult. Uh, and then I'm going to say that this triangle is also, I need to color in this triangle and this area, and we can refer to them as, uh, you know, the, um, this is just a triangle, so it's not a big deal. But um, this angle, and I think I am going to need the focal angle as well. Uh, which is going to be ugly-ish, maybe? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I do think I'm going to need this, because I, I definitely want to talk about this angle, so I think we are going to have to draw that line segment. Ugly, but necessary. And I was going to make some rude comment there, but I am too busy changing these settings to not show the label. Okay. So by the way, we also don't want labels on the axes um, eventually. So do we want... That's fine. Um, graphics, show me some, show me some options. Um, grid, that's fine. X-axis, don't show the numbers. Um, and x axis don't show the numbers also, but we will leave this with some idea that there are numbers behind it. Okay, so now we have a bunch of angles. This is clearly a right angle here. And now we want to talk about um, this area, this area, and this area. So it looks like we actually pretty much want to do exactly what the fuck we did earlier, and I kind of fucked that up. Um, so let's go ahead and create. Now the cool thing here is we can create it and then we can edit it. So we can say here x is greater than um, p x of p. The hell? That is not at all what I want. Hang on, so it's I did not want a slider there. That's very interesting. And so what the hell is there to create here? I guess it's not a slider. I was trying to create a freaking area. Let me give it a little bit more space then. We're actually going to create three separate areas here. One is going to be x is greater than... I, li I like the way it just sort of immediately wants to draw it. x of p. Yes, that's what I want. Um, want another one called x is greater than x of p. And then I want a third one, which is going to be x is greater than... You got it, x of p. All right. The reason we want it like this is so we can edit them without having to, um, wi without, um, we can edit them, we can't edit them, it's very sad. Um, there we go, settings. So now we can edit them over here instead of having to do it in that little smaller corner there. Um, so the first thing we want is, um, I probably should give this a color that's not like, 
the same. <laughs> Let's give it the color red, so at least when we do stuff to it, we'll notice. All right, so we're going to draw this as the triangle, so x is greater than xp, and and y is greater than 0. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense, does it? And and y is... No, that does make sense. x is greater than xp. Y is... It's just a simple and. Y is greater than 0. No! Okay, well, all right, x is greater than xp. Um, and, and, um, this is just as an experiment, x of f. Okay, so, so we got that. Um, I don't know why we can't put, say, y is greater than zero here, but let's not worry about that for right now. And last time I got really caught up in trying to figure out what the, uh, what the parameters of this triangle were, so we could just color that in. Um, and this time I'm going to see, am I, uh, that's not the triangle I'm interested in. Well, it sort of is the triangle I'm interested in. And the triangle I'm really interested in is, uh, is uh, C-O-P. Uh, and then F, yeah, F, so this is a, uh, um, okay, so let's see here. Now this time we're not going to biff it, so this is actually, um, uh, and x is less than, no, this should be okay, this should, no, wow. So apparently, all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Jesus Christ. So apparently when you do this, if you create it just for x, you can't, um, you can't, uh, you can't limit y as well. But I think if you tweak it over here, yay. So apparently if you're, oh, what the hell? Hey, 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 come back here. Oh, that was the other, okay. So these are all just going to be, I just need to do these so we can have a, uh, we can edit both um, X and Y parameters here. Okay, now are we happy? We are happy. So we'll start with the D, which I think is the one we were doing earlier. Um, and okay, here we go. This is the one I think we turned, no we didn't. We'll turn this one like this color so we know what we're talking about. Um, okay, so for this one we want to, uh, it doesn't really matter which one we do, but let's go ahead and do the, uh, the leftmost triangle first, the one that is uh, uh, PC, no, well it could be PCO, but it could also be COP, COP, POC, point of contact, whatever the hell you want. Um, and so that area is going to be, that area is going to be important because it's going to be the area swept out by the center not the area swept out by the um, by the focus. Hello, 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 cop. I <laughs> hello, Mookstermu. I remember you. I think, maybe. Do I? Let, let me check. Um, yes, I'm following you, so I must know you. That is uh, that is how we determine whether I'm following <laughs> whether I know someone. Um, or are you following me? I don't know. I'm so confused. Um, okay, well, thank you for being here. If you have questions, comments, just like that one. Um, wait, what? What the hell did I do? Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make this one, uh, the, the ones within this uh, COP or POC uh, triangle. So that means uh, we have X is greater than... Uh, we're going to skip the first Pomodoro today. We will do the other ones. This is the first one. We're going to skip it. Um, so X is greater than, um, and this is a very simple line, I think. This line is simply, um, has a slope of Y of P over X of P. That, it looks like that's what that is. And this is, the, it's not that. Okay, so X is... Uh, oh, actually, sorry, I meant to say, um, slope of this line is y over x. So basically I'm saying that y over x is greater than that. I think that is actually correct. I think that is actually stupid. And I think it can't do this. I think you have to do y is greater than x times, there are, there are some limitations on how, there we go. 
Uh, and we actually want y is less than that, the opposite of that. And then we also want, of course, um, y is greater than 0. And I think x is greater than 0. There we go. And we can get rid of all the other lines here and stuff. So this is, uh, unless I've done this really stupidly, this is, no, I have. I need to intersect it some more. I need to make sure that uh, x is, so this is the whole line up to forever. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me go ahead and do this, and then we need to uh, we'll, we'll turn off the other two for temper. Well, actually, I think we just turn them off from here. Uh, turn off, turn off. Yep, this is way too big. We need to fix this some more. Um, all right, so this is the area to the right of that line. Um, we also need x. To, we're never going to go further than c. So and x is less than x of p. And I think that's it. What, do we do we have to worry about it going? No, because it's going to cut off right there. Okay, so that is one triangle that we need. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and um, we don't need any of the um, nope. That's not what I wanted. We don't want any of the extra lines. We just want this sort of there. Uh, I think we'll leave it as green. We might change it later. Okay, now we want the area that is basically this area here for the ellipse. Um, so let's turn off Mr. Green, turn in Mr. Red. I know, Mr. Red sounds like I'm doing that movie, um, uh, what, Reservoir Dogs, where everyone's named after a color. Okay, so for this one, um, we want x squared over a, and now we, we do, a, we don't really know what a is. It's x a squared plus y squared over um, y of b squared is less than 1. That is our, uh, that gives us nothing. All right, that's awesome. Um, x over squared over plus y squared over b squared is less than 1. That is an area. Um, am I looking at the wrong, oh, fuck, did I just? Let me see if I can x out of that, and did I just fuck up the wrong thing? Okay, hang on. I just edit the thing that I fixed? I think I might have. I think I might have screwed something up. Oh no, maybe I didn't. Okay. So this is this is the one we fixed. No shit. Undo! 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 Where's the undo button? Um Undo, 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 control Z, but I don't think that's good. Ooh, control Z. Control Z. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, keep it going, baby. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Uh, baby, going too far here. I think I fucked it. There we go. Wow, I didn't realize I'd gotten that far away from it. But there we go. And we do not need it to be labeled. Okay. Um, so this is the triangle. This is good. We got that. I'm going to be very careful not to fuck with the same thing again. Um, so we're going to turn this off. We're going to fuck with this guy in red. And let's fuck with you. Now let's make sure this is... Yeah, we're, we're fucking with the right thing. I'm going to double check that we're fucking with the right thing because... So this is B. Okay, good. This is what we want. All right. So here we're going to say... Um, X squared over A, which in this case is the X value of A squared plus y squared over uh, the y b value, which is in this case the y value of b squared is less than 1. That should put us, yes, within the ellipse. That's what we want. There's more. And we want x to be greater than px. If anyone remembers KTEL albums, this really reminds me of them. And then we just want y greater than 0. Okay, so this is the portion of the ellipse that with the green triangle will form the area swept out by O. Um, unfortunately, it's going to overlap the area swept out by F, but there might be a way around that. 
we might be able to get two different, um, oh yeah, we could turn on and off stuff in Snapshot differently. So for the style, we, do, we don't need to actually see any of this other stuff, we just need to see this. Um, and it might be easier if we turned off that, so I guess we can do multiple shots here, so I didn't, now that I think about it, um, we don't need to see that label. Uh, we can do multiple shots here, so that actually might be okay. Uh, multiple screenshots, multiple saves. Uh, so that's actually pretty good. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put the green back in. Put greeny back in. And let's get rid of FP temporarily because we want to just... Can we just go over here and hide it? Uh, yeah, we can just do that. Okay, we, we did the wrong thing, but, you know, still, it's not... Uh, okay, now we'll get, go get our red guy back. Anything else you want to say, Milkister Moo? Okay, so this is the area swept out by the center, which can be computed fairly easily. Um, got to be a little bit careful here what I'm going to do. Because I can't really call this AOP, because it's not a triangle, it's, it's, it's an area. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, um, so I guess we'll call this diagram one. Do, are we ready to go with this one? Are we? I think we are. Actually, I don't know if we are or not. I want to export the image. I want to download it, actually. Uh, from now on, I want you to save PNGs automatically. Okay, let's take a look at this, see if we can do anything with it. I wish I had Faye installed here, but unfortunately it's not a... Um, Very good. This is actually, you're right on track there. Uh, in fact, we are looking for elliptical motion. Uh, Kepler's law that says uh, uh, planets sweep out equal areas from the focus in equal time. It is important to note that this is not the focal area. It is important to note that this is the central area. The focus is over here. We are going to talk about focal area in uh, eventually, maybe. I don't know. I don't, maybe. I don't know. Um, Focal area can, is a little bit more difficult, to, well, it's not difficult to comp computate, computate. Um, it can still be computed fairly easily. In fact, you could see it as the central area minus um, a triangle that we can create, uh, I, th I think. But anyway, but good, yes, you're correct. This is, this is very much in, um, in terms of, uh, Sorry, I just remembered that red-green color blindness is probably the biggest form of color blindness. Um, so this is like being as cruel as possible to colorblind people. So I'm happy about that. All right. Uh, so we have this downloaded now. We want to look at it. Um, I guess I'll use display, even though um, if I had, if I had, whoa, motherfucker, this is huge. Well, this is good. At least it's not going to be too small. Um, all right, I like that. I'll go ahead and bring it up in XV just so we can look at it easier. Um, and I'm probably going to have to, you know, min-spec this a little bit to do this. Okay. So now we want to start writing the sucker up. Yeah, I know, I know. I should, I should do something that has more room. Um, but anyway. Okay. No, 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 no. So... Given an ellipse, so let's put the image over here. Image placeholder. Uh, given the uh, given an ellipse with semi-major axes A and semi-minor axis, semi-major axis, semi-minor axis. B, given, um, given an ellipse as above, some some minor axis B, um, uh, some is with F being the distance from the origin to the focus, given an ellipse, um, 
aligned as above. See, this was really clever. I don't, I don't, I can even, centimeters with F being the distance from the origin to the focus. Um, the following, we have the following relations. And now we go into Mathematica code mode. Um, is it pre-code? I think it's pre-code. And then code pre. To end it off. Okay. Um, so let's start with ones we're actually showing. Um, okay. <laughs> so, and we can get this from lower in this own this file here. We don't have to go totally nuts with this. Um, oh, we do need one more thing. Uh, give it an ellipse. So, uh, somebody with, okay. All right. We probably should make this into a list. Give it an ellipse lined as above where A is the semi-major axis, B is uh, see, now I'm going to be picking, say, length of, but I don't really need to do that. I mean, if people, people don't get that, length, the length of this, is the length of the semi-minor axis, F is the distance from the origin to either focus. Um, now, of course, I should put in here somewhere, the, I've chosen the origin to be between the two foci, but I said aligned as above, and that should cover me on that. Um, uh, X, Y, this, uh, let's see. This is, I don't care about that. This is, the only thing I need to explain now is that P is an arbitrary point. Um, X, Y is an arbitrary, got to be careful here. Arbitrary, I'll put in, I didn't mean spelling, but I probably should do that as well. Um, point on the ellipse in quadrant one. And I need to say that because if you move X, if you um, move P to the second quadrant, we lose our diagram. And that's, that's going to be an issue. Move it down here, we also, so this is, this diagram is only accurate for the quadrant one, which is the top right qu quadrant. So we do need to say that. Um, presumably, we'll get very similar formulas for quadrant two, and then for quadrant three and quadrant four, it's actually symmetric to the top two quadrants. So I think we're, uh, okay. Uh, we have the following relations. Okay. Alrighty, and we won't talk about these conditions yet. We probably need to get to them, though. Um, but w for right now, we'll just do this. Um, see all math statements below. We need to merge them in to this. But let's just do the simple ones right now. Um, okay, relations. Sum of distances. Okay. Oh, man. Do I want to say that? Um, note that the distance... Um, F, A, F, um, note that the sum of the distance, okay, okay, we basically are trying to say something like, um, trying to say basically that the, the total is going to be 2A for any of these things, um, and that's uh, something I don't I want to establish without having to go through a uh, mathematical formula here. Um, the sum of the distances from A0, a point on the eclipse, ellipse, to the foci is, foci is a freaking word. going into my dictionary. Um, from zero to eight point to the foci, okay. 
Yeah, that that is, you're correct. The the two A is a this is like a, a property of an ellipse. Um, I'm going to put it in just because I I'm going to put it in. That's a tautology. Um, I e um, a f plus a g is so it's this plus this so it's I mean <laughs> it's um, a minus f plus a plus f which is two a now what's interesting here is I'm going to just say it um, and thus the sum uh, the sum of the distances to the foci from any point on the ellipse this is what I wanted to establish is all this is what this is the thing I wanted to say without having to uh, put it in my equations it's a little bit too much but you know whatever okay so that this is because now I want to be able to say this basically and now I want to be able to say um, um, the sum of the disks okay and we probably want to formalize that a little bit more sum of the distances sum of distances to P equals 2a is 2a and then we have that there as norm x y f 0 plus that is that is what we that is correct that is technically correct okay what else do we want um, since 0 B is on ellipse um, sum of distances to foci is also 2a again this is overkill but you know whatever oops what the hell undo did I do something terrible? Hopefully not. Um, here we go. Um, and this is just, oh, the thing that I cut and the thing that I want back. There it is. Um, um, what can we say here? the I guess I could well, I want I want to give some more data here I want to say the angle COP okay um, angle COP has nope I'm gonna call it POC because I hate cops angle POC is going to have a uh, the tangent of angle POC is um, that is Y and that is X. Yeah, that probably shouldn't have been surprising to me. Um, opposite? Number Jason. Yeah, that's not uh, POC. I just want to make sure I got this. POC. Um, is y over x, so this we just say, tan of y over x equal, um, so I guess we'll do this in the right way, ang POC, tangent of angle POC is y over x, okay? Um, now this is also, this, this is the exact same angle as angle uh, all right, Pomodoro, back in two and two.
Okay, and we're back. Let me take a quick look at what we just said. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I'm not doing any thinking at all right now, so I'm just making. I'm just typing stuff randomly. Okay. Um, okay. I want to be a little bit careful here. I want to keep track of what variables we're using. Um, so and POC is one of them, obviously. A, B, F, X, Y. And those will com become important later because we'll need to say, notice we have this number of variables, these variables in this, in this, uh, in this problem. Okay. I'm not going to bother with angle uh, AOP. I don't think we need it. Um, the area of the triangle, um, POC, is simply, you know what, that might be too much. I'll just say it, and then we'll say, uh, area POC is equal to x times y over, and this is x, this, yeah, this is x times y over 2, right? Yeah. That's not difficult. I do need to remember to put commas here because we're actually technically inside of one big statement. Um, okay. And what other interesting facts do we know here? Um, aha! So now I can be covered the area of the green triangle, POC. How smart I am? I can put that in there. Um, the pink area now, what the hell am I going to call this? I can't call it ACP, because that's the, um... So, hang on. Area POC is another variable. Do I want to just call it pink area? I don't know if I want to call it pink area. Um... You know, that I think will annoy people if I call it area pink, so I'll do that. Uh, area pink equals, equals integrate, um... Da -da 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 -da. This will be. Uh, no, no, no. What is this? This is uh, x is going to be t here, obviously, but uh, t squared. Okay. Oh, why is this hard? This should be very easy. Um. Have we established the um, the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared um, equals one? Hmm. I think we can we can actually establish that. Um, I think we can establish that from what we have here. I don't think we need to. Um, okay. Wait, is this harder than I think it is? Okay, hang on. So we have AX squared plus... I'm sorry, X squared over A squared plus Y squared over B squared equals 1, which hopefully we can already establish. So Y is equal to... Is this more difficult than I th think it is? I just asked that, didn't I? Um, 1 minus X squared over A squared... Um, divided by b squared. That's not as friendly as I wanted it to be. Square root of that. Um, wow. Really? Alright. So if we say square root of this, um, alright. Well, I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and see if Mathix can redeem, uh, well, never redeem itself, but let's see if we can at least have it uh, do something vaguely interesting. So da -da -da -da, we'll just put this in here, and then we're going to say this, this is the y value, presumably, over b squared. Uh, sorry, this thing squared over b squared. 
um, plus x squared over a squared. Simplify, this better give me one. I already sense it won't. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking about that, and I actually do mention up here that we need to, I think one of our to-do list things is um, eccentricity and what's known as the central parameter t, which is not any of the angles, it's just a parameter. Um, and certainly that's going to be in here. That's going to be in here uh, for sure. The problem is right now I'm looking at this diagram. I, eccentricity isn't really something you could put on a diagram, I don't think. Uh, and the same with that parameter t, because the parameter t has no physical meaning. Um, and that is the problem. So, um, okay. Maybe we'll use uh, this guy in a different way. Um, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal equal 1, solve that for y. And there are two answers, obviously, that I'm, I'm I can accept that. Um, and this is the one we want. So I guess it, it is really this bad. Um, okay, let me put that down here next to what we have. And let me see if I can be really crazy and ask me to do it in input form for me. Ooh, shiny. It actually did that. Uh, is that the same thing? So do I believe if you take this, square it, divide it by b squared and add it to a squared over x squared, we get this better be freaking one. I love the way it simplifies this to um, one plus something minus the same. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the same thing. What am I doing wrong here? This is not a d difficult problem. Um, if anyone in the peanut gallery wants to say anything, why is this? This is not should not be a difficult problem. Um, okay. There it pen and paper. Go for it, man. Now, honestly, I should, I'm just getting this close to doing it. I mean, this is obviously how, you know, you would want to solve it. I mean, this is not hard, right? I mean, if we're just saying 1 minus or subtract x squared over a squared from both sides, um, then you have y squared equals over b, so then just multiply the whole. Oh, 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 oh. I meant to say multiply. So actually, this will be just this. Um... Okay. Yeah, so I screwed up. I meant to multiply both sides by B. So, okay, well, you know what? Just just for you, we'll do it with quote-unquote pen and paper. Multiply both sides by B. Hey, I can do algebra. Um, then Y is equal to... Now, I'm, being, I'm, I'm losing one of the roots, but, but I, I know that and I'm okay with it. Ta-da! Am I brilliant or what? So this is b times this value here. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is correct for the value of y. Um, square that over b squared plus x squared over a squared. Simplify this and we get stuff. I mean, it's possible this is 1, I'm just not recognizing it as being 1. Um, oh, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I made a very basic error. I am an idiot. Okay, sorry. Uh, this one I should really, I'm really bad at. So this is actually, obviously we want to square the whole quantity y over b squared plus x squared over a squared. That was totally my bad there. Oh, and that just implies one right away. So, okay, I'm a freaking moron. Double, double moron there. Okay, um, so what the hell was I doing that for? I was doing that because I wanted to do the integral. Um, I want to integrate this quantity Um, and I need to say t here because we're using x for something else. Uh, t goes from x to a. b times square this. Ta -ta -ta. And, well, I'm going to, this should simplify. I don't know why I said that. Oh, my fucking God. That is... Blah. Yeah, that is not what I wanted. In fact, the indefinite integral looks better than that. Okay, screw this. We're going to, of course, this is always going to give us the wrong answer. We're going to go to our friend Wolfram Alpha if we can find him. And yes, I realize I had a lot of windows open, unfortunately. Uh, where's our friend Wolfram? Not Wolfram Alpha, I always call it the wrong thing. Um, although Wolfram Alpha might actually be able to help here. But I want to go to cloudwolfram.com because that's a little bit more powerful. And um, I just like seeing this wolf guy. I know I used to hate him, now he turns me on a little bit. Okay. Alright. So what we're going to have here is... My phone ringing. Let me quickly check something here. Uh, it looks like a garbage call. It will be rejected. Um, of course, all I get is garbage calls anyway, so it technically doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and go over here. And let's. This integral freaking should simplify. It's in the real numbers. I mean. Maybe that's the problem. I need to specify real numbers. Integrate this from uh, that, and t is the only variable, so let's do this. This is a function of x. Okay, come on. You don't have to take that long. This is, I think this is like it's posing. Boy, this is a hard problem. This is an elliptical integral, but it should be one that's solvable. Okay. Mathix did it faster than you did. Mm. You know what? I'm going to take this to Wolfram Alpha and see if it's faster. I mean, that would be very embarrassing for, for their commercial product to be less... Um, to be less good than their non-commercial. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, this is sad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They might not be able to input. Is there like a down arrow? Okay, here we go. Well, I guess you cannot really argue with this. Um, it's equal to itself. Motherfucker! Am I am I missing something? This should not be a difficult integral. Let's go and do the indefinite integral with respect to t, unless I was doing the wrong integral last time. Maybe that's why. Okay. So the weird question we're going to have here is why is the definite integral so easy to do? And when I do the indefinite integral, where x is just like a, a thing. Why am I getting such crap? Wait a minute. 
mean, it makes no sense. Hang on, I'm getting annoyed now. All right, we'll give you this. We'll call this. Um, this is a function of t, obviously. So we'll call it f of t equals. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but it's there. It is. Um, do this. Why are you being wonky? I think I have to stop this calculation first. Yeah. Um, and let's get rid of u, and let's get rid of u. And now we're just going to define f of t to be equal to this. Okay, this is just fucking weird. And then we just want f of a minus f of x, please. That is the, uh, that is the, okay, good. Not, see, was that difficult? Um, now maybe the problem here is, um, um, the simplification here maybe doesn't like that. Okay, I don't think that's simplified at all. Um, that is a fucking weird looking integral though. I'm not happy. All right. Copy and paste. See, what I, what the whole point of this is I don't want to put, I don't want to put this, I don't want to put the integral inside of that. Um, I want to just say this is equal to the, the pink area is, and I'm going to make sure that I got this right. paste here real quick. The pink area is I'm going to cheat now. Um, T goes from X to A. Um, I gotta be careful. We're, we're already inside of code so I can't be uh, um, I can't double quote something which simplifies to, which is equivalent to, equal to, there we go, area pink equals, and then we have that sucker. Okay. Okay. Um, we already talked about this angle, which I like. Um, what's interesting is if we know this angle, there's, we can get this area in many, in another way, which is the whole point actually. Because then we know that this is the uh, height is actually equal to tangent y over x times the base, which is x, which is you know we can we can get a lot of other formulas out of this, and that is the whole point. Now the question is, did I get anything else yesterday that I wanted from this area OPA? Yeah, and I do not really care for that triangle. The, the triangle has no use to me. Okay, Pomodoro back in two and two.
Okay, and we are back. And every time I get back, better do something else oh, that's a little bit. I don't know why I shouldn't. I should say I'm back, but give me two seconds. Whew, why am I winded? Getting old. Well, I am old. All right. So what we have here is the area pink is equal to that. Um, now, what we're actually, you know, sort of going for is the area swept out by the focus, which is this area here that we don't have marked right now. Um, and the claim is going to be that if we do this, we can draw this um, other triangle. We can take this sort of, uh, this, oh, 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 oh. Um, yes, the whole point of getting those two numbers was to add them together and get the area swept out from the center. Okay. The area swept out from the center is the sum of these. Area from center equals area POC plus area pink. And now we have a new variable called area from center. Okay, solid. Um, and so now what we want is, of course, the area from the focus. I think we will need to draw uh, a second diagram, which is fine. We can do that. Um, and so this area from the focus, and we're going to say the area from the focus is equal to the area from A minus this triangle that we're going to create. Now the question is, is that always going to be true? Well, I guess we'll find. I guess we can find out. Okay. Um, and, da -da -da -da. and I still need to make sure I'm reading the commas in here because this is technically one big long statement. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, pink areas, which is equal to. Okay. Um. Yes, two things before I forget. The eccentricity is not on the diagram, but is equal to dot dot dot. What is it equal to? Do you know? I forgot. Um, oh, you know what? I actually have this somewhere. This is I actually I actually worked this out. I mean, it's not hard to work out. Uh, ellipse A B to A uh, to the eccentricity A is. And by the way, this is the kind of thing I claim you can do. Uh, these are the kinds of things that you can do. Is you can take the mean anomaly, get the, the value of the parameter t, or get the true anomaly, but you have to actually, um, yeah, mean anomaly, wait, 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 the true anomaly? Yes, you can't go the other way, though. You can't get the true anomaly to the mean anomaly. That's, or one of these things you can't get. There's a whole bunch of things you can get. And this is these are the kinds of things that I'm hoping to get automatically from these these relations. Okay. Um, eccentricity is equal to square root of one minus b squared over a squared. That is not a. Uh, that's an other variable we have. Um, and what's the other thing? Oh yeah. Uh, if the ellipse is parameterized as Parameterized. Parameterized? Alright, how do you spell that word? Parametric, parameterized. So this is actually just a word it doesn't like. Uh, as a times cosine t, b times sine t. I guess I'll use the Mathematica format here. That's close enough. Then t is. So this is the the parameterization value, and this is just basically um, x over the arc cosine of x over a, which is happens to be equal to the arc sine of uh, y over b. Um, but I don't think we I don't, we don't want to necessarily put that condition in there. Uh, so this is t 
T we now have. We're nowhere near done. Um, so the distance P, the pink area is, the area stepped over from the center is the sum of these. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, okay, so now we want to get, uh, we need to uh, modify our diag diagram a little bit. We want to get area from the focus. And we're going to make some claims about that area. Um, and we kind of need to make it clear that we're showing the same ellipse with different coloring. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of... Oh, I'm tem I don't want to really overwrite this coloring here. Um, so we'll get rid of this. We'll hide this, but we won't get rid of it. Uh, this is not going to be relevant anymore, unless it is. Uh, well, we can just hide it for right now. Okay. I don't even think this is going to be relevant. Um, so area from the um, you know, line segment here, from here to here. So this is the area we're talking about. We need to actually pin it down a little bit better than this and the claim is it's going to be the, the the total area swept out by the center minus this triangle the one problem is i want to make sure this no 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 i don't want to no 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 i want to make sure this triangle is always going to exist so is it always going to exist it is always going to exist um and I'm, I'm putting it like this because I don't want to make it look... It's very difficult, by the way, to draw a acute scaling triangle. You almost always... Like for me, I mean, to freehand draw that, you, I almost always end up with a triangle that's either right angled or two of the, at least two of the sides are equal. But um, that's just me, maybe. And we'll move this a little bit down here. Um... Okay, so the, this is the area swept out by the ellipse. Okay, so we've got to be a little bit careful here. Um, I'm going to it from the focal point. Um, does this even actually work if you go into... I think this actually works if you go into the quadrant 2, but we're not, because we said we weren't. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get our, um, see now I'm going to be trying to be smart here and not be totally guessy about this. Um, so we have this triangle and this area, and the idea is this area plus this triangle is something we've already computed, and therefore we can get just this value from subtraction. Okay, um... Let's see here. Da -da -da -ta 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 -ta. Um, let's just do a little bit of work here. And we have... Uh, yeah, we're not quite ready to make this what we want. Okay, so we have here, the area we want is, you know, x squared. We definitely have the ellipse condition. Um, that's a given. And then also x is and y greater than zero, which is also given. X is greater than, this is a line that goes from F0 to XY. It is, okay, F0 to XY. God damn it, I'm going to do math now. Um, and the problem here is we're calling this XY, and we also have the, uh, we also have the variable um, XY. But in this case, this is actually PXPY, uh, or in, in, in the notation of GeoGebra, x of p and y of p, but we can do this. Okay, so we have uh, y equals <laughs> uh, px equals um, mf okay so px is equal to m of x, in this case f, plus b and um, Okay, what the hell am I doing? Okay, so I do know that when y is zero, 
mf plus b. Okay, give me one second here to... Um, I need to change, my Discord is being kind of weird, but that's my fault, because I have my notification settings not set correctly. They are now set correctly, you can't see what I'm doing, Different, to totally different channel. Um, okay, so 0 equals mf plus b, and py equals m times px plus b. Those, that's what I mean to say. Um... This should not be this hard, though. Okay. So we want x to be bigger than this, but as we go up here, it can be a little. We can do a little bit better. We can say f minus x times y or something. Um. And then we need to worry about this triangle. All right. Well, I'm gonna just fuck with it. Um, and apparently if you don't specify two variables here, you can't, you can't specify two variables later on. You have to sort of start it with two variables. Alrighty, let's mess with this. Um, so we have x is going to be greater than the focal point, which is x of f. Okay, good. Minus, um, Mm. y time minus y, let's see what that does, that's just going to look weird so it has to be y times the, the slope which is um, rise over run which is y over x minus f or y of p minus x of p over x of f I think that is the wrong formula that's why I didn't okay x is greater than x of f minus y times, um, did I? I meant to put a parenthesis in there for sure. That That's over x of f. Yep, saw that coming. Okay, and that's even worse now. So y times y of p minus x of p over x of f, and we do not need those. Okay, we're getting there. Um, y times y of p minus, uh, no, 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 x of f. Um, okay, that, that should be correct, I think. So when we're at um, y equals zero, this just says x has to be greater than x of f, which is cool. But when we're up at um, y equals p of y, we're saying that x of f has to be greater than x of f minus um, p of y, y of this. Um, I'm pretty sure I meant to say here divide by y of p. Nope, didn't mean that either. Let's see, hang on. I probably should just be saying y of f, which is 0, right? No. Um, so when, when we're up at P of Y, this should just be, um, this should just basically add Y to it. This should add Y of P minus X of F to it. So why am I doing this? Okay, still not right. Okay. And we want this section is what we want. And then we're going to intersect it with the ellipse. That, that's where we're going with this. Um, okay, so this, this part's fine here. It's greater. Um, when y is greater, when y is equal to p of y, this is p of y. No, we don't need to be squaring this. Um, So this just needs to be y. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I mean x of p here, but that's still not going to mean what I want. Now it's it's really wrong, but that's okay. Um, so I think this is actually x of f minus x of p, but we need to multiply it by something here. Uh, and the thing we need to multiply it by is, so when we have this, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, so this just needs to be divided by y of p. I think we got it. Booyah! And then, also, x squared over uh, x of a squared plus... Oh, I hope this isn't going to be... Uh, y of b squared is less than 1. I hope that takes it all as one big chunk. And y greater than 0. There it is. That's the area we want. It's going to be purple in just a second. Purple. And we're not going to be showing anything except the area. We're not going to be showing the um, the other crap here. Okay. So that is the area swept out by the focus. Now we want this triangle, um, which you think would be easier, but I bet you anything it's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, Uh, so we're just going to start off with the random something so we can tweak it. Yeah. So this is um, this is currently x is greater than y, which we don't want, obviously. That's just a thing we need here. So in this case, we're going to have x bounded by two lines. Uh, x is greater than uh, py over px, which is just, nope, nope, nope. It's yp of over xp. That's not about what I wanted. Oh, times y. Yeah, sorry. This is basically just the equation of this line. Um, and I have this backwards because I'm using this as an x instead of as a y is greater than. So there's that. Good deal. And now all we need is x is to be less than, for right now I'll just say uh, x of f, which is not correct. But it's going to be x of f um, minus um, something that becomes um, x of f minus, um, basically we need to get it to, to p of x. So this is going to be uh, x of f minus y of p. That's going to make it, nope, x is less than, um, um, times y, but I need to divide this by something, um, and I need to divide this by X of P times, so this should become um, times Y over, okay, hang on, X of F, so once Y is equal to P of Y, uh, this should become 1, so I think this is over Y of P, uh, and I am wrong. I think I'm missing something here, oh, this is a plus actually, I think, oh, we're getting closer. All right, Pomodoro, back in two and two.
And we are back. Okay. Alrighty, let's continue here. X is less than... So what we need here is a quantity that becomes uh, XF minus... Oh, I'm sorry, this should be X of P. That would be... That would explain it. Um, so for sure that was that part was wrong. Let's see what else is wrong here. Um, x of p minus times y over y of p. So when y is equal to y of p, which occurs here, this should be x of no minus. So we can get rid of the x. We want to cancel the x of s. Ta-da! And I think and of course we want uh, y greater than zero. That's the easy part. Okay. And I think we meant to leave this as blue because our previous one, we didn't use blue. And we don't want any of this other crap. Let me double check. I'm almost sure we used... Um, uh, got a ton of crap here. Yeah, we used green and pink here, so we're, we're safe using blue and purple here. Uh, the only thing I don't like is my purple might not be purple enough. Nah, I think we're fine. Okay, so this is basically giving us... We know the base and height of this, and we know this whole area. So, um, yeah, all right, all right. I'm liking this. Let's save it. Let's not save it like that. Let's actually get rid of this piece of crap. Let's also center this a little bit better. Let's get rid of these labels. And then let's reduce it to Pantone 15 with a bit of color. I'm just kidding about that last part. Uh, and I do want to download it. It should complain there's a... Um, no, it shouldn't. I think that automatically gave it a name with a 2 in it because I haven't changed the name of the actual... Yep, there it is, which is fine. This is good. I'm all good. And so we will do this just to make sure. Well, actually, we'll do this because we want to add some more relations here. And then we will do this. And then we'll go back over here to our Emacs. And... Okay. Um... And now we can say stuff like, whoa. Well, we can say stuff like, whoa, but that's not very useful. Um, we go from here to here. I want to, yeah, I want to keep that as much as possible. Okay. Um, the focal, okay. Um, area of triangle F O P of the blue triangle FOP is area FOP equal equal um, the base well the height is going to just be Y and the base is going to be F so it's Y over F times 2 um, purple area plus blue triangle equals pink area how do you like that? Stick that in your fucking bag and smoke it. Um, area purple equal equals area fop, the blue triangle, plus area pink. That's the kind of crap I really wanted to get to. Um, And now we've added here area FOP, area purple, and we already had area pink there. Okay. I think we now have a bunch of relations. Um, uh, 
Did we talk about the, f well, we did not talk about the focal angle, angle AFP, which I do want to talk about. Uh, this angle we did talk about, we had that earlier, that's angle uh, AOP or PO, I think we said POC actually, it's the same thing, but it's, just, it's what we called it. Uh, so we had, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, did we actually have, we did have angle POC this also. Um, so now we want to get the, uh, the angle, the focal angle, which I think is also the true anomaly if we were doing astronomy. Um, this is going to be angle AFP. And what do we know about angle AFP? Well, opposite this angle has an opposite over an adjacent of uh, so this angle Opposite is y, and the adjacent is crap. I'm pretty sure it can't be what I think it is here, because then it would be independent of f. Um, because this would say it's basically a minus x. Um, over, uh, sorry, it'd be y over a minus x, which is not, does not make sense. I don't think it makes sense anyway. Um, so another way to find it is we can find this angle, which is not useful to anyone, but, and that definitely has uh, opposite, oh yes, okay, here it is. Uh, opposite, which will be just y, over adjacent, which will be f minus x. Uh, so this is going to be, so this will have, <coughs> excuse me, opposite, okay, that might be a little bit too difficult. Epa. Yeah, but since we're going for more relations, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and um, uh, it's going to be angle F O. No, it's not. It's going to be angle P F O or O F P. <coughs> um, and now I'm going to get a little lazy and not even bother to see how I say how I got it. But, you know, angle O, F, P has a height of Y. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying out here. And a length of F, this little thing here, opposite of adjacent, this is F, that's X. So this is F minus X. So that's, that's where we're getting the interesting stuff here. Um, angle, this is going to be angle AFP, is supplementary. I get to use this big word that no one in mathematics really cares about, supplementary. Um, ang AFP equals pi minus ang OFP. Um, we teach it to kids and then it's like, well, yeah, we just, you know, they had up to 180. Um, Okay, area purple. Do we have we have area OFP angle OFP, and then angle AFP. Okay. So now, um, so we have this angle. I think is called the true anomaly, or maybe. I'm pretty sure this angle is called the mean anomaly. So now we have a relation between the mean anomaly and the true anomaly. Is there anything else we really want before we post this sucker? <coughs> well, the answer would be nice, but aside from that. So, 
we can get the eccentricity from A and B and A and B from the eccentricity in one of the two. Meaning I'm going to T the parameter, <coughs> excuse me, mean anomaly to xy, and I think that's it for the ellipses. We don't actually, so I don't really go that far with ellipses here. So now we can phrase our question. <coughs> Why am I choking to death? No, we'll, we'll, we'll phrase a different question. Um, Excuse me, I should have muted for that. Okay, so the subject will be finding who do I want to say all relations or some more relations? Finding ellipse formulas from set of ellipse relations. That's brilliant. Um, question. Given the relations below, what ellipse equations can I derive? Um, and that's not a full question because it actually requires the uh, um, given the ellipse relations. What ellipse equations can I derive? I asked a question to this, a question similar to this in, so I don't, I'm not going to, I'm going to own this. Um, but this is a bit more, um, bit wider spread. Um, um, This is a bit bigger and more concrete, which is not true. The other one's very concrete. Um, but this is a bit bigger and potentially more interesting. No, I don't want to say that. Uh, but this is a bit bigger. Um, this is a bit bigger. But this is a bit, uh, but this is, okay, yeah, here we go. This is a bit bigger and has multiple and has multiple relations, not just a single formula. Okay. Now, one thing I want to do here is I don't want to ask them necessarily to solve it for me. Uh, I'm looking for a strategy. Um, okay. So let's see. I did mention this now. I did mention this. Okay. So we're going to have both images right here. Um, we're already formulating the questions. We're okay on that. I do want to make something quickly really clear here for them, which is this is the same ellipse. Um, given two images of the same ellipse as above, Um, <laughs> this might be too much of a sentence to try to hold off as a, as like a given blah, comma, comma, comma. So we'll say above are two images of the same ellipse. I don't need to say as above again. Where, da 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 Did I add any more points into this? The, the G point is sort of interesting because it's not mentioned anywhere, but it clearly exists as the, the other focus. Um, I don't think I added any more points. Good. Um, above are two images of the same ellipse where blah, 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 not that the da, 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 da is this. Um, okay. Uh, I am not necessarily asking for a complete solution, but rather a general method of attack for problems of this nature, which they sort of gave me last time, but I didn't like their answer. 
So now one thing you need to do before we do anything else is I want to make sure that sometimes when you start asking a question in Mathematica, it points out that someone's already asked that question. Um, so we want to sort of steer clear of that. Wow. Literally only two questions and one of them is mine. Um, brilliant. Um, okay, so finding a list for a good question is for ba 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 ba. Uh, where da 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 some of the we have. All right. Um, you you're right. Let me go ahead and be careful here. Um. Okay. Give them what additional. Ellipse equation. Okay, I'm just going to be really nasty here. Formulas, relations, equations can I derive? Just the whole freaking mess of things. And I should probably give some examples, but I'm not sure I want to. Um, okay. Um, we have the following relations. And there we go. And I need, to, I need to make sure this actually cuts and pastes because someone is going to try to cut and paste it at some point. Um, but I don't want to forget my little to-do note here. So, and I think I need the, my end of my pre-code here. Okay, so I do want to make sure that this is, uh, I have, I'm not missing a comma or something. Parameterized. Why should, I keep thinking this should be like parameterized. But I mean, it's not going to care because it's not spelled correctly anyway, as far as it's concerned. All right, so we're going to start over here. We're going to go down to... No, 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 shush. Okay. So we have this, escape W. Go back over here to uh, Mr. Wolfram. Uh, but just, uh, and we'll do this, control V. Hit return and see if it gives me an error. If it doesn't, I probably should just print out. Cool, it took this one big thing, which is nice. Nice! It prints it out in sort of a, not, not a useful way, but... Um, uh, yeah, it, it's fine. So it, it does work. All right, so we have all this... Um, all right, Pomodoro, back in two and two.
And we are back. Okay. So note that some of th uh, we okay. Let's see. Are there general method of attacks of problem this nature? Blah 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 blah. Okay. Note that we have. Wow, that was cool. Off by one uh, one keyboard stroke there. Note that we have the following variables. I'm going to be very lazy here and um, back tick the whole thing instead of uh, doing them separately like I should. Um, okay, so I've already asked for just a strategy. What formulas functions in parentheses? Can we derive from the really? Uh, this is redundant, um, but we'll go ahead and put this. For example, I know it's possible to. Okay, I've defined eccentricity in terms of a and b. I know it's possible to get b if a. And ECC. Did I put ECC in there? Yes, I did. Are known. Um, but that's just one of many possible examples. Um, and then we'll throw in this basically bullshit. Appreciate any thoughts. Thanks! Exclamation point. Um, this is something I did just to get the uh, just to get that formula working. Make sure we get all the math statements below. F and G are foci. We, I didn't mention that G is a focus, but they kind of should know that. Formula for integral. We um, we did get this. The short names for lengths we're not going to bother with. I mean, technically, O F is length F conditions. Aha, we do need. We might want to want this. Um, <coughs> um, so we don't want that. Below is older work. Um, let's see, distance is 2a, must be 2a, so this gives us um, this gives us a bunch of crap we don't need, a bunch of crap we don't need, a bunch of crap we don't need. Uh, we do kind of want to mention the conditions, though. That That is important. Um, let's see. And I don't want to put them too early on. Um, and so now, this is one statement. Now we need to do this statement. Uh, the following conditions apply, and I don't think I'm going to say why they apply. I'm just going to say they apply. Well, let me take a quick look at them, actually. Um, B is greater than zero, A is greater than B, F is greater than zero, uh, X and Y are in the... Well, let's see. X and Y are in the reals. Someone's going to ask me why I didn't specify A, B, and F are in the reals, but when you specify a number is bigger than zero, Mathematica already accepts that it's within the reals. Um, so of all the variables that I have, <coughs> excuse me, um, do I actually care about this? I guess, yeah, because angle POC, oh, brother. I mean, I know more about angle POC, just that it's in the reals, but I think I don't actually care, right? Because I don't care if angle POC is negative, I don't care if you want to give it as a multiple of a 2 pi. Uh, a, B, F, X, Y, area, oh, okay, hang on, no, 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 no. Area POC definitely is an area. Yeah, you never know with Mathematica Stack Exchange. Um, they they might um, they might like it. They might not like it. I've got some ideas of my own here of how to do the thing, things like this, but the problem is Mathematica is not really very good at uh, <coughs> the method I'm using. Mathematica has some real trouble with it, um, so I should be able to say solve for a in terms of b. Um, or solve for A in terms of B and eccentricity. 
that should be a solvable problem. Uh, but I don't think Mathematica will do it. I don't think it's quite that uh, nice. Okay. So area POC, all the areas have to be bigger than zero. <coughs> Um, area from center. Some of these I don't need, conditions I don't need, because they're implied from the conditions above. Um, eccentricity I'm pretty sure has to be bigger than zero. And I'm pretty sure it has to be less than one, but I'm not going to say that. Uh, T just has to be within the reals. It doesn't have to, it could be negative if it wants to be. Area FOP is greater than zero. Area purple is greater than zero. Ang OFP and Ang AFP just need to be real numbers. Okay. Um, have I actually... Oh yeah, I did get all the math statements below. Well, let me double check. Y over X equals tan T. I think I actually end up saying that in a very strange way up here, like... Um, where is my, where is, yeah, here it is. No, wait, 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 no, that's not it. T. That's going to be easy to find. Actually, it's space, T, space. Uh, T is equal to arc cosine of X over A. Does that say that uh, the tangent of, uh, I don't care. Let's see. Uh, y over X equals tangent of T. Oh, no, I'm using a different T here. I'm, not, I'm, not us I'm using one of the angles as T there. Uh, one other thing I could have done is I could have drawn like uh, the the lines between one focus and the point P and the other focus and the point P, um, but I don't think I care to do that. And y of x and again that should be derivable from what we have here. Um, the distance between the foci is not that's not hard to derive. That's two f. Okay. So are we ready to post this? Um, well, one thing I need to do with it, which is very minor, I just need to copy these images to really simple names, so when I upload them, they won't be weird. Uh, but that's not difficult. Copy ellipses, new, ping, temp, one dot ping. And the other one, two dot ping. Very original names there. Okay. All right, we are now on our on our destiny to um, to get this question put up first and then maybe answered, or you know downvoted into downvote hell. I don't really care. All right, so from here we want to go da 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 da, -da. and here da 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 escape W <coughs> control V. Um, why are my colors looking so funky? Uh, maybe I'm just going blind. Um, and the only thing we need to do now is insert the two images. The area doesn't even, the order doesn't even matter, but, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go order one, two, because, you know, that's, that's how I roll. Okay. Add picture. This is going to take a while. And by a while, I mean forever. I've never ever entered the image description here. I, I mean, I'm, I don't know if anyone actually does that. This one. Okay. Given the ellipse relations below, that looks pretty shiny. Um, okay. Is relations a possible tag? No, it's not. Correlation is though functions. Um, solve. Equation solving. Yeah, it's equation solving. Um, 
ellipses. I don't know if they have a category for it. Yeah, they don't. Conic figures? Conic sections? No. Conic? Iconic, not conic. Um, reduce? No. Oh, you're so nice to say that, and I am not too... I am a nice person, and I'm not really a nice person, but, but the idea here is this is a, writing up a problem has a lot of value to me because I could use the same write-up somewhere else. Mathematica is not a particularly evil form, uh, form like uh, physics is, um, and you know, the math one is even actually nicer, but I want to get an, an answer sort of in terms of Mathematica, which I'm comfortable with. Um, functions, equation solving, I don't want to get too hung up on this. Is this is triangles? No, screw this. This is this is what it gets. Let the question be posted. Okay. Um, yeah, this is good. I like this. I like this. Um, okay. I'd like to keep going. Let me just check real quickly, though. How how uh, long we've been going? I've been going for almost two hours now. Um, Let's quickly see if there's something we can do here to continue. If I, I don't necessarily want to start something big, uh, so we can save that. That's not a huge deal. We now need to go back to README Stream, which controls my every move. Uh, Milk Istremu, would you be willing to help me with a microphone test? Because I got a new microphone, but it sucks balls. I think. Um, however, if you're willing to help me test it, it would be great if you're not willing to help me test it. That is okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me go ahead and set up the. M let me find the microphone. Disappeared. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Blah, 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 blah. Making lots of extra noise. Now, the last time I tried this, I accidentally got a static shock and turned my computer off. So if I disappear suddenly, uh, I'll be back. But don't wait for me. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's see. I feel like I feel like Marty McFly trying to plug in that amp and knowing he's going to get it wrong. Okay, I'm going to take off this this headphone that I'm using. I'm going to switch um, to this other microphone. I'm going to ask you if you can still hear me, and I'll type it out if I don't hear back from you soon. So here we go, switching switching to the other microphone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me running? Can you hear me calling you? Um, okay, fantastic. Does my voice sound okay or is it soft? I can make this louder. Because um, last time I tested on, on my own, it seemed like it was very soft. And we will wait at the four second delay here. But not too, d oh, fantastic. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to crank up the volume on this and see what happens. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too loud, but I, I don't think it will. So I'm gonna go over to OBS over here, which you can't see, and crank this sucker up. Um, I think I hit the right thing. Okay, so is it louder now and is it decently loud? I feel kind of weird talking because um, uh, because I'm sort of trying to talk to the screen at the same time, and I'm not wearing headphones, so it feels kind of weird. Uh, so how is this? Is this uh, too loud? Okay, hang on one sec. I was actually hoping to put the microphone further away from myself because um, it's kind of like right up in my face right now. Um, one second here, I'm adjusting. Um, so turn the mic towards me. Um, by the way, uh, okay, so now is it two questions. Number one, is it still too loud? And number two, does this help with the background noise? Because it is a directional mic. And I will keep saying stuff so that you can answer. And then I will uh, babble incoherently for a while. Oh, sorry, I've already been doing that. Um, la la. The outro voice is fine, but the noise is loud and intrusive. Okay, is it worse than when I had the old microphone that I was just using a few minutes ago? La la 
la la. Oh, it's way worse. Okay, so th that's the problem. Isn't that it's not loud enough, but the background noise has gotten much worse. And it's possibly because I don't really know why. That's, I don't I never really figured that out. Now I'm gonna try filtering the, the. I don't know. This is this could go very very badly. I'm gonna try filtering um, out the noise. So filters. Um, let me add a filter here. Noise suppression. Okay. Um, okay, I've added noise suppression here at minus 30. Does that help at all, or is it still sucky? Is it still sucking the noise reduction that never works? So, why am I singing a song about, and very badly singing a song about noise reduction? Uh, and there's a chance, of course, that I've totally gone silent now. My voice is cracking now. Okay. How's the noise? Is it still pretty bad? Wait a minute. Somebody else came in. Fierce Crocodile. Um, okay, so the noise is gone. Is my voice... I guess if I, I believe Fierce Crocodile. My voice is cracking now. Okay, so Fierce Crocodile, either one of you, if, you're, if you've done this before, um, adding the noise filter really seemed to help get rid of the noise. How do I prevent my voice from cracking? I mean, it's not really cracking in real life. Um, so what do I need to do here? Do I need to turn up the uh, the gain or turn it down or turn it sideways? I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. Uh, and I probably shouldn't do funny voices while voice testing because that just... You need a better mice. Well, you know, my the mice I have right now are pretty good mice. They're pretty happy. I feed them well. You know, every so often i got to sacrifice one to the cat, but... I know what you meant. You meant I need a, a better mic. And I agree with you, but believe me, I can barely afford uh, this mic. Um, so, um, with the guitar, you turn it down. So, so right now, okay, so let I don't know about this. So the issue here is, you can hear me just fine. There's not a lot of noise, or there's no noise, but my voice is cracking. Is this the? Uh, is this about the? Uh, looking into quantum sharpening now. There's still noise. Okay. Um, but it's toned down. Okay. Uh, it is Pomodoro time, but I'm not going to go because you guys are helping me. Um, which I'm okay with. Wait. It's there's a fan in the background that I could turn off, but I mean I'll need it on when I'm when I'm streaming because I get so freaking hot when I stream, man. Um, all right, let me take a look here. Um, yeah, I don't really see, there's a lot of filters I can put in. Noise gate, I don't even know what that is. Um, uh, just freaking, I added it. I don't know what the hell it does. I can add a compressor, I don't even know what that does. Okay, so now I've got four filters going on at the same time. How does it sound? My four, four filters to paradise. Won't you turn on your filters and talk tonight? I've got four filters to paradise. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 worse. Okay. Alrighty, I think this might be, uh, this might require some work here. Um, and there's tons of settings here that I could also mess with, but let me go ahead and get rid of the compressor. Uh, let me get rid of, okay, how's it now? There's no compressor now. You need to write your own as usual. Well, unfortunately, in this case, that will be very difficult. Because I don't, I can't actually hear, I mean, I can record this and hear myself back. Um, and I suppose I could go on to Twitch and hear myself with a four second delay, but that's going to get, oh, okay, this is horrible. All right, hang on. Okay, so now we're back down to the gain with the noise suppression. In other words, the gain's always there. The noise suppression and everything else is turned off. The voice isn't cracking technically, there's just interference like you'd get if someone calls you in a physics lab. I've never heard that expression. You mean like, the, the st there's, is there static in the voice? Is that what you're saying? Is there static in my voice? There's a song in my heart and there's static in my voice. And there's boogers in my nose. I am a big freaking mess. Um, so 
So, it, I mean, if it sounds bad, it sounds bad. Okay. Um, so I guess the noise filter has 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 given me this. I'm gonna crank up the noise filter, although I think this is oh okay. Um, I'm gonna crank up the noise filter. I think that's just gonna make things worse though. But hang on. Noise filter is now. The noise filter is now at minus ten. How does it, how are we sounding now? Um, uh, can we get some bandpass filter? Okay, I'm I'm looking at uh, I'm on OBS and there are four kinds of filters and I will read them off, but none of them is bandpass. I think I think uh, noise suppression is supposed to be a kind of bandpass. I've got gain, noise suppression, noise gate, compressor. And actually, let me check to make sure there's others that are below that that I missed somehow. But no, those are the only four I've got. So how does it sound now um, that I've cranked up the, the noise filter? Um, and I guess the big question is for Milk Istramu, who was here before, uh, if you're out, I don't know if you were here before, uh, how does this all compare to my old microphone, which I will, uh, yes, no clue here, but honestly, okay, fuck. <sighs> Let me turn that off then. Okay, noise suppression is now off. I have a gain of zero. Um, so from what I understand, you can hear me, but there's a lot of background noise. Is that an accurate assessment of what's going on here? And I guess the, the other issue would be, um, I mean, a lot of these have settings too. So I mean, I could set, you know, it is, okay. Okay. So, volume not a problem, noise is a problem, the noise suppression filter helps, but even with the noise suppression filter, it's not as good as when I had the, uh, when I had the headset, right? The headset is the, uh, the way to go? Um, so, there, there is a, uh, actually I don't know how, what? Also, filters, I guess they're... Sh also, I don't know how... No, how uh, but also, filters get... They are crazy. Yes, S-Noise is banned because it says upper and lower. It does? Okay, hang on. That's not what mine says. Okay, my... Um, you mean noise gate? It's a noise gate. What does it say? Oh, it does say... Uh, a, no, it has a close and open threshold. Attack time, hold time, and release time. It does, so I've got noise gate going now, but I know it's terrible, so I'm going to turn it back off again. Um, and I guess I could turn, I could, I could load these filters and keep them turned off. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm, I've got noise suppression loaded now, but it's turned off. I've got noise gate loading that now. Noise gate loaded. Noise gate. Ouch. Suppressed. Uh, and then finally compressor. And compressor is also in just one second here suppressed. Ah. Okay. So I've got all my filters turned off now, um, but I can look at them. Uh, they have ratio threshold for compressor. I have ratio threshold attack release output gain. For noise gate, I have close and open threshold attack time hold time release time. For noise suppression, all I have is suppression level and a decibel level, which is currently minus thirty. That's probably not helpful. Um, I, I, yeah, unfortunately, A time, that's the standard equation of, uh, yeah, that's how you create a wave that has a certain amplitude. You forgot your phase shift, dude. Oh, no, phi is your phase shift. And then omega is your, uh, I think you, you're missing an X in there, though. Um, no, this is, this is back to just having, um, hang on. This is back to just the regular gain. Um, yeah, t you need some variable in there. You need omega times 2 pi times your variable. Um, otherwise, you have a, a constant, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, so uh, we're saying basically this is not a usable solution that I have right now. You can hear me, but there's way too much background noise. One um, to be, um, yes, omega is the frequency, good, but you still need a times variable so that when the variable moves, uh, you get go through frequencies. And is that actually the, let's see, is that the, is that the frequency? That is the frequency, that is not the uh, period. Uh, the period is, is going to be one over omega or something. Um, 
Actually, I think you might have that wrong. It might be omega divided by 2 pi. Um, anyway, but you're very close. So I, I see what you're trying to do. Okay, so we're saying this is not a workable solution. Um, I can go back to my headphones, and I probably will. Um, it's so much nicer for me because I don't have to wear freaking headphones. Uh, and I'm not listening to anything, so it's not, not really an issue there. Um, well, 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 well. Okay, guys, thank you. If you have any other... Uh, I'm sure I'll call this from now. Yeah, you're pretty close. You're pretty close. Okay, guys, if you have any other suggestions for uh, the audio, or if you really want me to work another problem, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I think I'm going to stop the stream, this stream for now, and we'll pick this up later. Actually, I think we're done with this, but we can pick up some other stuff later. Uh, I kind of want to get back to answering the question about Jovian eclipses, Jovian lunar eclipses, at some point. Um, okay, so I will give you guys a few seconds to uh, tell me if you want anything. Um, I don't know if it's the noise suppression that creates the static. Um, okay, so the noise suppression you're saying helps, but the static might already be there, but noise suppression makes it more obvious. Uh, I am a robot, of course, so I do speak with static as part of my normal vocabulary. Kachek, kachek, kachek. That was terrible static. Um, if, if you've got any suggestions, I mean, you guys are the closest thing to audio files I have. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys are the closest thing to audio files I have. Uh, that sounds kind of dirty, but I, I, I'll stick with it. Um, I do know, I don't really, I mean, I'm sure there are people out there who could just really nail this, um, but they're probably not free or not available. Uh, or, you know, they're not work, willing to work for free, or, okay, I am not. Um, I don't know who Bob Laser is. I mean, it's a freaking cool name. I mean, I would love to work with him. It's Bob Laser. His eyes will shine with brightness. Don't look directly on alien technology. Oddly enough, when you said that, now it looks, I'm thinking about maybe I did work with him. Uh, but actually, I don't think I did, to be honest. Um, I did work with a couple of other people briefly on some games and stuff, so you know, the alien technology could be there. I, but that was all, you know, um, are you talking about professional work or are you talking about um, uh, fun work? I definitely have not worked on alien technology when getting paid. That was a, uh, you know, that's not something we did. Um, I have worked on games since I've been retired, but I've not gotten paid. And, um, and Bob, the name doesn't sound familiar. We, we've done a little bit of alien technology stuff. We did a game where um, robots were going to take over. Uh, guy in the night? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, oh, is the name Barry Carter mentioned in it? Because um, there is a show called Barry that is not me either, obviously. But it's a uh, it's just interesting that someone decided to name a show after me, or I guess there's a billion berries out there, so it's not that uh, interesting. Okay, so I assume that despite the fact that you were giving me wonderful feedback here, it, my voice still sounds terrible because of the static, although I would like to point... Oh, okay, he worked to claim... Oh, oh, no, uh, I cannot claim to have worked on alien spaceships. That doesn't mean I didn't do it, I just mean I can't claim to do it. So you, you can decide whether or not I did or didn't. Um, for all you know, I am an alien program that is designed to subdue you human beings so we can take over your planet. Yes, I yes, I do know who that guy is, Seabury Carter. He is a, uh, like, in the chemicals and stuff. That's not me either. Um, there's a poker uh, player, a guy who writes poker books. Um, uh, let's see. I am not that Barry C. I am not the one who writes poker books. I know him. I mean, I don't know him personally, but I, I've tweeted with him because we get people get our names confused. Um, okay, there's there's a C. Barry Carter, and there's a different Barry Carter who wrote a book about um, who wrote a book about poker. But I don't know if that guy has a has a degree. There's also a, a Barry Carter who is involved in something called Ormus. I think that one is dead now. That guy is dead now. Ormus, which is like, um, I keep forgetting what the word is for when you take very small dosages of things and mix 
them into a water, and you claim that uh, you know th that that um, that is uh, helpful to people. But it was more than that. It was like Ormus energy and all this uh, crazy stuff, which I probably shouldn't say bad things about. And you know what? I keep forgetting. I'm actually on a computer, and I don't want to read what this note is. So let's just go over here real quickly. Um, Ormus. Um, Um, so this is like the, the rational wiki. Let's see if my name shows up in here. It should. Oh, it doesn't. Wow. But he was a pretty big guy in Ormus, so I could probably do a search for Ormus and Barry Carter. See, it comes up very quickly. Um, Barry Carter, the brilliant Ormus. This guy. I think he's dead now. But he might not be. So don't don't go around saying that he's dead. He could, I could get screwed on that. Um, so there's this guy. Um, Barry Carter is a renowned researcher of precious and rare elements. In this interview, um, shows how exposure to Ormus or its ingestion can lead to radiant health, happiness, and finely tuned consciousness. This substance, Ormus, has been taught to be known uh, biblically as mana. So, you know, it's got a very solid science backing there. Barry lays out some key points about Ormus and the implications it has for humanity, striving to fulfill its potential. You can even learn how to make it with everyday household appliances and ma material. And an informative and awakening interview. Yeah, this guy's batshit crazy. Um, not even good reviews from the loonies. That's always bad when you when you pander to lunatics and they don't give you good reviews. It's like, I'm a lunatic and I didn't like it. Um, the sound is horrible and it freezes in spots. Okay. Um, anyway. Okay. And since we're here, we might as well look for... Let's just look for everybody. Let's just look in the whole store for everybody named Barry Carter. Let's just see what, what, what comes up. I, I've done this before in Google and stuff. Uh, oh! Oh, it's free! Dangerous Pact by Barry Carter. International Law by Barry E. Carter. Um, transmission Electron Microscopy. This is the C. Barry Carter guy that I, that I was talking about. Um, let's see what the hell I've been up to. El Juego Mental de Poker. Oh, this is... Okay, so this guy's Jara Tendler is probably translating the Barry Carter book. Uh, maybe a pact with the devil? You never know. So C. Barry Carter is actually a famous professor and he's done a lot of cool stuff. Um, Barry Tendler, okay, so Barry Carter's... Um, so that's the brilliant Ormus. Yeah. Actually, if we, if we put Barry Carter poker, there's a, there's a pretty famous poker book by this guy. Uh, and I think it's just by him. I mean, there are some people who have co collaborated with him. Wow, maybe it's with somebody else. Sex, death, and bowling. Why does the hell does that come up? Um, okay, well, let's look at this guy. Barry Carter. This is him. I do not look anywhere near this good or that young. And uh, here he goes, the mental game of poker. And there's a blue and red edition in case you need both of them. So I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on there. Um, I could. I mean, I could write you all sorts of recommendation letters. And, you know, believe me, I could write them to you. I could write them for you on stream. Um, it probably will not help you because I have kind of gotten into the sarcastic stage of... Uh, if I, if someone who I don't know asks me to write a recommendation letter, you know, I will say, uh, despite his multiple c convictions for murder, he has been released or escaped successfully uh, many times. Uh, his hatred for academia is matched only by his hatred for admissions officers. Something along that nature. Okay. So now we've learned a little bit about this Barry Carter who is... Uh, he is freaking handsome, actually. Kind of bugs me. Um, I don't know if the other Ormus Barry Carter is dead. I, I read a report that he was dead, but um, 
Now let's see, is this a third berry carter here? Ooh. Dangerous Pack tells an intriguing tale that intertwines mystery, sexy romance, and pervading humor. Mid hey, while well, I was around during that time, it centers on lives of four college students who ultimately meet... Wait a minute. One rainy, I was there. Corpus Christi. Time drinking have wronged them. Not long after this, multiple deaths. Uh-oh. Crap. It's about me. Um. Um. Oh. So it's this guy clearly, this is a story about him. Wow. Um. Your bib PP. Yeah, it would kind of be useful if you told me what your bib PP is, because right now that just sounds like you you pissed on a bib. You know, I mean, when you, you when you wear bibs, like when you're eating lobster, it's more for what comes out of your mouth that falls. You're not supposed to piss on your bib. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying, you know, if you ever want to wipe your mouth with your bib, pissing on it may not be a good idea. Although, urine is sterile. Um, but despite that, they don't use it in operating rooms. You don't see doctors like whip it out and piss all over a patient. I mean, you do, but you have to pay a lot extra for that. And that's a porno, actually. That's not actually a real doctor and a real operator. Um, so, you know, th th those, are, those, are, uh, those, are, those are some pornos. Um, DePaul University. Big PP means big male genitalia. Exactly. Oh, I get it. I see. You, that was just a typo. Uh, yes, I could certainly mention that... Uh, Fierce Crocodile, although I'm assuming I'd use your real name, not Fierce Crocodile. Uh, real name of Fierce Crocodile has a very large penis uh, that he is severed from a, uh, a black man and he keeps in a jar. Uh, do not ask to see it because he will invariably, when he takes it out of the, uh, the uh, jar, he is prone to, to suck on it constantly. And that can be a little bit distracting uh, especially because he keeps saying, come for me, baby, come for me, although it is clear the penis has long since been sucked dry. So I could, I could do that too if you'd like. So anything else you want, me to, you want me to put into this recommendation letter? And I'm le enjoying this conversation so much I am not going to Pomodoro, even though we should be getting a, a note here uh, saying that it's time to Pomodoro. Uh, and because also I'm not really doing anything. Um, uh, I'm not thinking at all, uh, even less so than I normally do. Um, okay, fantastic, fantastic. So, you know, they'll interview you. They might ask to see it, and you never know. Um, what are you applying? What What are you need a recommendation letter for anyway? What are you, Where are you going? What are you applying for? I assume, by the way, my voice still sucks because I haven't switched back microphones, and I don't plan to for this stream. Although for next stream, I'll, I'll put them back on. Um, so this is actually kind of cool. We have this s audio sucking. Str so this is actually let's 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 look at this. I'm talking to two people who uh, were doing great, but nobody else could benefit from this because nobody understands um, what you guys are on about. So this is useless to anybody else. Um, uh, well, yes, um, they they are. They're not. They're not the only ones. I mean, there's you know, there's test scores. That's one of the big reasons they use tests is because if you come from some no-name university, that's really the only way to tell if you're any really good. Now, if you come from a big-name university, then the recommendations are important because if you know if your professors from from Stanford are saying you're good, you're pretty damn good. Um, but if your professors from I don't know University of Albany or University of New York at Albany. You know, no one knows their quality, so they're, that that's when the tests are going to be more important. Um, although nowadays, just going to college is not everyone's doing it, so you might have a uh, advantage there. Um, so this wonderful stream, this part of the stream, um, not helping anyone, not doing any math, bad audio. Um, honestly, I can't think of a way of making it worse, except maybe trying to find an uglier woman than this one. I mean, she's pretty ugly. Uh, but she's not, like, super, super ugly. We'll maybe try to find that, something like that. Um, 
Um, all right, good deal. So I assume when you say a test, you don't mean like just a random test, but like the LSAT or whatever field it is you're going into, um, the GRE uh, subject tests or maybe the GRE general test. I, I, where are you going? Just tell me because I don't. I have I have all day, really. I mean, when I'm not doing math, I've got all day. Um, so according to this, this is the author's second book. So so this this kind of bugs me that he wrote another book. Let's see if it sucks any less. Ah, different Barry Carter, though. 101... Barry Crocker? Really? Barry Crocker? That's... Ah. Um... So anyway, that's, that's who I am, apparently. Um... Let's go back and look at the one... the one, um one answer that I did get, which is probably going to say you suck. I mean, 99% is going to say, oh, wait, not quite what you, oh, oh, okay, hang on, that's actually not unuseful. One can derive the equations of four ellipses. Wow. Um, wow. I like the fact that this answer has absolutely no meaning in real live in real space will depend on the values of the given yeah um, see I already drew the ellipses and there's only one of them which clearly someone missed that um, um, the word same here so apparently he thinks it's two different ellipses the problem is this guy's actually pretty smart I'm, I'm surprised that he's, he's doing this He's like in the top, uh, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's up there. Uh, quantum computing is the next big thing. Uh, yes, it is. It's going to break current cryptography, although there are quantum resistant forms of cryptography. It should make computing a lot faster. Um, I still have trouble. I don't really understand how it works. It can't do anything that a Turing machine can't, but it can um, it can do stuff faster. And apparently, the way it does that is by holding multiple possible paths at the same time until one path is resolved without having to resolve all the other paths. Um, so that is a uh, that is a. Uh, um, and I saw some pages, where, you know, where, which let you do quantum programming. Um, I'm not going to put that on the list of things I want to do on this stream because I want to bury my head and not um, um, and, and bury my head and not watch that. So is this a YouTube uh, link here? This is. Oh, you're watching an actual course on quantum uh, mechanic, quantum computing. Um, uh, okay, let me gotta be careful here because I don't want to um, I don't necessarily want to watch a stream on the stream but I just want to see what this is about quantum mechanics and quantum compute you signed out of YouTube uh, unitary transform oh this is not going to be okay. so this idiot's still talking we're going to get rid of him you can't hear him because this computer doesn't actually have sound um, okay this is Everyone knows this. Dumbass. Okay, well, at some point, I will probably not be looking at quantum computing. It is vaguely interesting, but I don't... I, don't, I mean, it can be simulated with a regular computer, um, as far as I know. Um, yeah, no, that's cool. I mean, I, I, I maybe will learn it someday. Um, if at some point we hit the singularity, which means I can upload my brain, I do know about Hilbert spaces though, um, where I can upload my, oh, uh, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if that's exactly true what you're saying about a high school or a college student, um, but, but yeah, I mean, I, I see that people might think I'm asking a more complicated question than I am. It is a pretty complicated question though. You're basically saying, um, here's a bunch of formulas, 
Now, if I said derive this formula from these formulas, that would be high school level. Um, or, you know, if I said here's a problem, with, here's an ellipse, and I'm giving you some pieces of information about it, and I want you to find other pieces of information about it, that would also be a high school or college problem. This is more like, give me every single possible um, formula that you can spit out of these things um, above and beyond the formulas I've already given. And keep in mind, some of them are very simple. Like, if you said A plus B equals C, then B equals uh, C minus A would technically be a, a different formula. So, it's not very useful, but again, it is there's a lot of formulas you can get to get out of this. Obviously, the ones we're looking for are more sort of like, how do you relate the focus, uh, the focal length, the eccentricity, the area, and um, yes, I agree with that statement. Unfortunately, people are here are, well, technically, he didn't say it was an answer. He did say this is just an observation that um, you can make four ellipses out. I don't really know what he's saying, though. Is he saying that my parameters are not sufficient to specify, because I, I've been, my, if you give a semi-major and semi-minor axis, that should be enough parameters to specify an ellipse. Um, so those two numbers alone will give you a, uh, will give you a, an ellipse that cannot be a different. Um, you know, that's, that's a fixed ellipse there. Um, by the way, just tell me, is my quality, st audio quality still bad? I, and I, I don't know if you guys are tolerating it, or if magic has happened and it's gotten better. Um, so let me know about that. And again, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube or something, boy, you've just wasted a lot of time. Unless you've been skipping ahead. Who is Daniel Lightree? Uh, well, maybe he's a guy who can turn into a light tree. Let's see. Light wing? Light foot? Jesus fucking Christ. Um, okay. L blue. Look back. Blue. It's not unbearable at all. Sorry, can't read. Uh, Daniel Light Blue? That just sounds like a weird thing to say. Um... I mean, oh. Well, there's a Dr. Robert. Um, this sounds like they want to sell you something that's pretty expensive. What? Oh, Daniel Lichtblau. Him. Uh, he's just a guy on Mathematica. Let's get back to him. And now back to Daniel Lichtblau. This guy. This is the guy who quasi answered my question. He's really smart. I mean, he, he does a lot of good stuff. Um. um yeah, he probably does. Um, yeah, I mean, this this guy's smart. I think he's got more points than I do. Uh, yeah, he's got way more points than I do. Um, so I'm sort of surprised by his, his comment because his comment wasn't very useful. But then again, he wasn't an answer, and he made it clear that he was just a comment. So... Lick the blow. Oh, I see. Daniel Light Blue. I, I don't know if that's what his derivation of his name is. Uh, uh, yeah, light blue. Maybe he's maybe he's from Pandora. Maybe he's one of those avatars that is like sort of a albino avatar that has somehow got thrust into our world and does math. There might be a story in that. There might not be a story in that. Um. So we've gotten one non-answer so far. It's going to be a while before we get any sort of decent answers out of this. Okay, boys and girls, and if you want to keep going, let me know what, what we're doing here. Um, otherwise, we I'll probably, when I come onto the next stream, I will restore my uh, headphones because I've listened to this recording myself once, and it sounded pretty bad. I couldn't even hear myself, though. Uh, so the fact that we can hear myself means magic. Tell me about something about Hilbert spaces. Okay. Now it sounds like you're grasping. Um, let's take a look. Uh, absolute... Uh, actually, I think I'm not. Um, well, they describe a space in CN that has, well, as you can see, uh, that has... Okay. Are you familiar with topology? Because this is, this is, a, okay, are you familiar with the general concept of topology, open sets, 
measurable spaces, um, what a T2 space is, what a, what a metric is, all those stuff, things. I don't remember what a T2 space is. A T2 space has some properties. Hausdorff, that's what I meant to say. T2 space is a Hausdorff space. Um, where any two distinct points exist, there are neighborhoods of any two distinct points that are disjoint from each other. It's a separable space. Um, um, I mean, I don't know if you're studying Hilbert spaces separate from topology, but to me that, that's a topological topic. Uh, topology is a... Um, for any set, you can define a collection of open sets that meet certain criteria, and then you have a topology. Uh, you can get some very strange looking topologies, but then you can also insist that you have topologies where any two different points are separated by closed sets, or something like that. Mean spaces have distance measures. Yes, Hausdorff space has a Hausdorff measure. Um, I'm pretty sure that's true if it's not like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm pretty sure you can define a measure on, oh wow, they even have T0 listed here. Um, I didn't know all these names. I know about Hausdorff because that's an important space. Um, T4 is, um, oh, maybe we can give this. There are spaces in which you can't even define metrics consistently. Um, let's see, okay, so, so yeah. And to be honest, now that I, I keep saying that if you want to extend it, let me know, but honestly, I'm getting tired now. I probably need to eat some food or, uh, you know, regenerate inside of my org queue, whatever it is that I do. So I am going to go ahead and bid you guys adieu. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be, uh, yeah, you guys get back to doing what you need to do, like freaking watching videos or doing your science and homework and stuff. I can only distract you from so long. We are all just stupid monkeys. Uh, you bet. Oh, you're welcome for the stream. You don't have to thank me. Thank you for being... I'm not eating chicken! Uh, anyway, thank you for being here, and I may or may not pick it up uh, later today. I don't like to promise things like that. Thank you for everyone who's watching the stream now or later. I don't know if I can thank people later, but I can. Goodbye for now.